Property investing for beginners is something that I'm going to be unpacking today. I believe that there are five simple steps that you need to actually get started and moving within property investing. I will also share with you as my story along the way on which I learned these five steps and I knew that this is going to be the secret key to getting my journey up and going and really succeeding in it. Welcome to my channel. My name is Genevieve Stafford Jack. If you're new to my channel, I would love to say welcome. And if you're returning, trust you're doing well and you're going to enjoy yet another video. So I believe the first thing to get started within the property investing space, especially if you're a beginner, is just really understand your funds. Understand the circumstances that you are currently in on where are you going to get the money that you need to actually invest in property, right? And when you understand where you are, are you in a place similar to where I was, where I had no money, I had no credit line at the bank because we were overextended and the previous side hustles that we had really le left us in dire straits where we had absolutely, absolutely no money. And so what we had to do is really just understand what this property investing education was all about so that we could use the right strategy to present whatever we find. So we found that the way we are gonna get funds is actually get into a space called creative finance, which leads me into point number two. Because if you've got money, tick, you're happy. But if you don't have money, you need to be able to be clever within the property investing strategies to actually get that money. So point number two, where I believe that you need to have your ducks in a row is your strategy. Some people may say, but what do you mean? Isn't there just two strategies in property investing where you buy a broken home, a broken down house, and you fix it and you sell it, or you buy and you rent? Well, basically they are, but there's a whole lot more to buy and to rent that meets the naked eye. Because in the strategies, you want to understand, am I gonna go out and buy a property that needs that uh, tender love and care so that I could actually fix it up and then sell it on market value? Are you going to buy a property, maybe renovate it and then rent it out? But the renting out components are far more than just let, let, you know renting out that particular property to one person. Sometimes you could rent out a property like a two bed, one bath to two young professionals that may not know each other but they've got maybe work and the, or the vicinity where the, your property is, they've got that in common and they're really just wanting to move on with, well, you know, with life and they are willing to become flatmates. Then there's an, another strategy where you could have a three bed, one bath, and then you also rent it out to th three different uh, people and you know have that as a bit of a, a co commune situation. There's the back rooms that are often spoke, uh, spoken about within the townships that you can also get an investment income from and there's serviced accommodation. What falls under serviced accommodation? There's Airbnb, the student accommodation, right? Which then means you've got this property and you can rent it out but from a service point of view, because like within student accommodation, student accommodation is a service. They are coming to rent your property for a said measure of time or said period of time, all right, as well as Airbnb. Now, what is interesting that I want to throw into the mix of strategies is another strategy called rent to rent. Sometimes you can find landlords who've got property and they're just so tired, but they don't really want to let their property go. They don't want to let their property go. They're like, oh no, this money, this is property I've worked hard for, yada, yada, yada. But they are willing to rent it out and the tenant can eventually sublet this particular property. So there's this rent to rent strategy, which is why I'm saying, you know, when you understand where you are financially, which was point number one, Point number two becomes a point where you say, so what strategies are there for me to make money to, to help me where I am financially? And then there's other strategies called joint ventures or sourcing, others call it wholesaling. What the sourcing people do, the wholesalers, 
they find the property and all the other strategies that I was talking about, they are able to put a proposal together and then sell this particular proposal to a investor who is looking for these properties. And sometimes the investor just doesn't have time. Sometimes the investor's not having the best of luck finding these properties, right? And that is what we had done for a very long time, where we would actually find the properties, go through the process as if we were going to acquire the property to really understand what can the property give us, and then be able to put it into a proposal and therefore sell the proposal. However, what I want to share with you is that one of the things that I have found is that when somebody has not learned within the property investing space, they may not understand why should they pay you for putting that proposal together, right? So just be careful of, of things like that because it is a reality. Some people will say, no, that doesn't even exist. Oh no, that is absolute nonsense. And I promise you, if there's anything that I know after four years investing in property is that these strategies are real. And there's a lot of people that are out there that have gone through this investing education, like yourself and myself, or maybe if you haven't gone through it, and then they're wanting to say, how best could I make somebody else's life easier? How best could I, uh, could I be of service to somebody else utilizing my time and my skill to create an income. And that's where that particular strategy comes in. So, so far we've covered, where am I financially? What are the strategies that are there? Now, when you understand the strategy you are in, you'll be able to now go and look for an area where you're gonna find the property in. And the reason why I say the strategy will dictate the area is like, you don't wanna go and find a two, a two bed, one bath, or maybe a three bed, two bath in the middle of a residential area that is 10 kilometers from a tertiary institution. And then say, I found the perfect student accommodation because that's not going to work. Because within the service accommodations, particularly in student accommodation, you want to be close to tertiary institutions where the students are actually going to walk to, to their place of learning, where the students are gonna feel free to walk to where they need to in case they are working late that evening or they're busy with whatever projects, yada, yada, and they're using the, the facilities of the tertiary institution. So having that place 10 kilometers away from a tertiary institution by far will not make it a student accommodation. So now what you would want to do, for example, for student accommodation is find where is the tertiary institutions and go look closest to there so that you are able to propose. But then you also want to find out what else is happening in this particular area. Because if the investor is not interested in student accommodation, but for example, Airbnb, which is also serviced accommodation, is really thriving in that particular area, your proposal can state that if you are working the strategy of creative finance, finding properties for investors that may not have time. And this is how many of these things actually interlink with each other. So there's the money, there's the strategy. Now we've pinpointed the area and this gives you the license to actually go and find the property so that you are acting within the strategy that you have chosen within the property investing space. So if you've enjoyed so far, what I'd like to do is welcome you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I post a video. Now, going into how do I go about solidifying that I need to get this education, down in the description below, I've got a link to three hours of free property investing training. We did this at the beginning of the hard lockdown, March 2020, and each evening I went live into the Facebook group that I created for that period of time as a learning ground. So if you are interested, go down in the description below, click on that link, it will take you straight to the content. If you choose to register, all good and well, but you don't need to register to actually get that free training. Get a taste of what property investing is like so that you can actually understand, is this really something that I am 
after. I've, I will also put up a playlist up here in this corner called Getting Started in Property Investing so that if you are interested in seeing more short videos, you are able to click into that link. So will I see you over in the playlist or will I see you down in the description below in the training that will lead through to my website.